Okay, so let's look at blood groups and some of the things that most often cause confusion. So let's look at what we do know about blood groups. So if you look at this uh, little chart here, so let's say somebody's blood group is A, then we know that on their RBCs, the antigen present is A, and that's what determines the group. If it's B, the antigen is B. If it's AB, they have both A and B antigens. That's why we call it AB. If it's O group, they do not have any antigens. That's why we say it's O. And if there is, and for the RH, the antigen we use is D. If they do have the antigen D, then we say they are positive. If they do not have the antigen, then we say they are negative. And we can also say, we can also write negative as we also write negative as or we can write it as VE so you know negative and positive we can write it this way too so that is some information that we do know now let's look at the plasma so in the case of plasma when the blood group is A the plasma, the antibody which is present in the plasma is B so that there is no interaction because if there was antibody A it would interact with A so we need to have a different antibody and this is present. Um, if the person's blood group is B then the antibody in the plasma is A. If there's A, if the blood group is AB since they have both A and B we cannot have any antibodies in the plasma and if it's O group then the person has no antigen so they have both antibodies in the plasma since there will be no reaction and in the RH typing whether they have the antigen D or they don't have the antigen D there is no antibody anyway the antibody only gets produced if you give the wrong type of group to them now let's look at the next thing is when you do not know your blood group and you want to uh, find out what the blood group is so you have to go to a lab to get to know about it. So what you have in the lab is that they have ready-made serum. Since the antigens are only A, B and D, they have an antibody A which is called anti-A serum. Serum or plasma contains the antibody. So they have that in the, in the blood bank. They have anti-B serum and they have anti-D serum. These will react with the antigens of the same name. So what they do is to your cells, your red blood cells, they have they add anti-A serum, they add anti-B serum and they add anti-D serum and they see if there's a reaction or an agglutination. So if this is your cell and they add drops of the serum, if they find that the cells kind of um, stick to each other, they call it agglutination and it is, you will write it as yes, agglutinate, you'll either put a positive sign or you'll say agglutination. So let's take a case where they added anti a serum and they saw agglutination. They added anti-B serum to your cells but they did not see any agglutination. They added anti-D serum and they saw it. Now this means that you have the antigen A because there was agglutination. You don't have B, no agglutination. You do have the antigen D because they saw agglutination. So your blood group will be A and because of this it will be A positive. Let's say there's a case where they did not see any agglutination, they did not see any agglutination and they did not see any agglutination at all. So they did not see any agglutination, you do not have A antigen, you do not have B and you do not have D. When you don't have A and B antigen then you know that's group O. When you don't have D antigen you know that is O negative. So you see that your blood group is O negative. Now let's look at who people can donate to or who you can receive from. So I have this chart here. So let's look at this one where we say a donor gives cells. They usually give cells and a recipient you have to worry about what is in their plasma. So you're always worried about the antigen present on a donor cell and the antibodies in the plasma. So let's take a, these two cases A positive and A negative. An A positive person obviously can donate to A positive and A negative person can donate to A negative. Now let's see the situation where an A positive gives to someone who is B group. So let's say the person is B positive. Okay, so um, we have um, A positive blood group and this person is B positive. So in their plasma, 
the person, the recipient will have antibody A. We know that if you're B group, you have B antigen, but you have antibody A and they're positive. So they have the D antigen. The positive and the positive is okay because both donor and recipient have uh, the same antigen. So there is no problem and D has no antibody to it. But because this person is A group, they have antigen A, but this person has antibody A. So if you give A to this one, they will the antibody will react and you will get agglutination. So you can see that an A positive person cannot donate to B group. B is positive or negative because of this antibody A. So you cannot donate to the opposite group. So that's one thing. Let's look at A positive donating to an A positive uh, to an A negative group. So let's see this. So I'm going to make this as A negative. So when a person is A negative, so you look at this situation, they have antibody B in their group and they do not have any D antibody, which is fine. So B antibody is present that will not react with the A, so that's okay. But this positive cell, this D antigen, when it goes into this A negative person, they do not have any reaction the first time. But since this D antigen has gone in, this person begins to make D antibodies. So the second time around, if by mistake you give them A positive blood, there will be a reaction because these D antibodies will interact with these positive cells. This is particularly important in pregnant women. So we therefore cannot give positive blood to a negative person. Let's look at this situation where we have, so I'm going to erase all of this. We have an A negative person who all can they donate to. They can obviously give to the same type of person. So A negative can always donate to A negative. How about A positive? Let's say the person's A positive. What is What antibodies do they have? They have B antibody in their uh, plasma. And they do not have any antibody. This is D antigen, but remember, no antibody for D in their plasma as yet. A negative, A and A is fine. This person is negative. You're always worried about the antigen. Since there's no antigen present, it will not provoke an antibody reaction. So you can see A negative can donate to both A negative and to A positive. Since there's no antigen, it will not provoke a reaction. So you understand that negative blood can be given to both negative and positive people, but positive blood cannot be given to negative people. You can only give it to positive people. So that's really important to do. I've given you one example. You should be able to do the others.